Hello everybody and welcome to Patch X. This series looks at important factors from the most recent patch that will help your team improve. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the most contested picks on patch 6.2 for coordinated and competitive play. Just to add to this, I will primarily be discussing champions that are high priorities in their given positions or are regularly banned. With that said, let's jump straight into it. There are a lot of champions that are still contested from patch 6.1. I will cover them briefly, but I recommend you check out the previous video for some more in-depth explanations. Gangplank and Fiora are still the king and queen of top lane. Their insane ability to fit into a multitude of compositions, the fact that they are relevant at every stage of play, as well as the unique kits that both champions provide keep them at the top of the priority list. Ryze is also a continually contested pick, however this is more so in the east compared to the west. Kindred and Elise are also still on the list as a result of only small changes to Kindred, as well as the introduction of Runic Echoes, which allows these two to keep ahead of the game from the jungle. Last but not least is the Banisher of Darkness Lucian in the bottom lane. The current meta fits him perfectly and there are few that can challenge his might. Moving on now to the new champions joining us in this episode. Tom Kench, Poppy and Lissandra have all risen to power since the beginning of the 2016 season. Tom Kench is an immovable object that can hold his own due to his thick skin effectively providing him with two lives while also having the damage of a freight train. Not only does he have a powerful stun, but his devour provides a multitude of uses. From saving your AD carry from a Lux combo or following up on an aggressive catch. Poppy is in a similar position where her ability to build as a frontline but still act as a threat to the backline means that she can be used as a reliable disengage or to set up a flank hard engage depending on the situation. Not to mention that her unique kit, alongside her incredible base stats, make her no pushover in the lane. Lissandra is our final top lane terror. With her ridiculous crowd control, providing a great frontline zone to protect allies, alongside her being an option for an AP top to ensure a mix of damage types in a composition, she will continue to be prevalent in the 6.2 patch. Just like a man without his cigar, this video would not be complete without Graves being mentioned. Considering how mid-game orientated the meta is, it's important for junglers to function on low resources, which is what Graves currently excels at and packs quite the punch. He has the ability to turn any unlucky scenario in his favour with phenomenal burst and surprising tankiness. As a small side note, Graves is one of the few junglers that provides reliable wave clear to compensate for less reliable wave clear mid laners such as LeBlanc. Moving to the mid, we see Corky rising to prominence alongside the ever so favourable Lulu. Once players identified the strengths that waving a large package around could do, it was simply a matter of time before he became one of the favourites of the mid lane. The preseason changes to make his auto attacks do both magic and attack damage, along with his abilities also doing magic damage, means he is a viable standalone AP threat. He also has a huge mid game spike with Trinity Force, and when you pair this with the strong poke that he provides, it makes him a fantastic siege and burst champion. Lulu on the other hand has always and will always be a contested pick. Her flexibility to go both mid and top as well as her ridiculous utility that is combined with good damage makes her someone that you can't afford to ignore if made available. Callista is the other marksman joining Lucian in the bottom lane. The Fate's Call has become another valued ability given the lack of reliable engage that we are seeing in the current meta. Pairing her up with a tanky support makes for a great primary and secondary engage. On top of this, she has a cheap 2 item power spike to keep up with the other popular caster marksmen, but also scales nicely into the later stages of play. Not to mention the high mobility of her martial poise makes dancing around those irritating top laners a skip through the park. Finishing off our list is Alistair. At the moment, the current popular tendency is to take Windspeaker's Blessing and Max's Heal, which provides great sustain and trade potential in lane, but also helps to control sidewaves and sieges, which is an important aspect to consider when playing as a team. It is also a good idea to rush distortion enchantments on your boots to enable the flash pulverize combo that makes starting fights all the more easier. To end the video, I wanted to add some strong champions that I would encourage you to play when with your team. However, I would not consider them to be at the top of your list when it comes to priorities. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see in the future, feel free to throw those down there as well. With that, thank you very much for watching, best of luck on the ladder, and have a good one.